Hello cookbook friends and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie and today I'm really excited because we're going to go and dig into Simply Julia, the cookbook by Julia Tertian that everybody has been talking about for months and months and months. I think basically since winter of this year, it's been kind of the talk of the town and as I've been kind of poking around in it, I can see why. It is really homely. I love her message. Her message is super important. I think especially now we're really obsessed with diet culture in America at least. And I think we associate health with dieting. And I think Julie, Julia's message about healthy eating is not dieting is very important. And I think it's something that most of us need to understand. And we can eat healthy foods without wanting to lose weight or whatever we're trying to do. Some of us are trying to gain weight. I mean, there's a lot of things. So just learning how to be healthy and being happy with our bodies as they naturally are. This isn't like promoting overeating or anything like that, but I really like her message and her recipes are very cool. They're very unique. They range from all over the, all over the world. There's vegan, gluten-free, there's nut-free, there's all kinds of stuff. She has done her work. She has been super thorough, and I'm probably, I got this from the library, but I think I'm going to actually buy it. I'm going to cook a few recipes just to kind of triple check to make sure they're really awesome, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to be really awesome. So let's dive into it. The organization in this is not traditional, which I is fine and I'm okay I was surprised that I was okay with it because it was kind of it felt like all over the place but it's not I don't know so we start with 11 weeknight go-to's then we have 11 make-ahead mains 11 vegan one pot meals for everyone then we have 11 chicken recipes 11 great soups and stews 11 go-to sides 11 salad dressings, easy sauces, and relishes, 11 favorite breakfasts, 10 noshes and a drink, so 11, and then 11 memorable sweets. As you can see, it's kind of, you know, salads are like in the middle, and usually when you look at traditional cookbooks, you've got salads towards the front, and you've got your mains kind of in the middle. So I thought it was interesting how this whole thing is organized. Also, throughout this cookbook, we have, you know, little tidbits of Julia's life and, you know, just she's very personal throughout this cookbook. I didn't think it would be as successful be with a cookbook because, you know, we're all about food, but she talks about her pantry, her family, her culture, and like I said, you know, dieting versus healthy and just a lot of very cool things. She has five things that are, so it's not just about her pantry. She talks about her refrigerator, her pantry, spice spices she always has on hand. Um, she, I think she even has like certain um, tools that she always has, five tools. So swing away jar opener. I'm, I don't even own one of these, but now I kind of want to. A very small whisk. I can see that. I've kind of needed one a few times. So I love this cookbook, how she's done this. It's very numerical and fun. She has five things I count on for good kitchen vibes. I think a lot of us could probably use that just because some of us hate cooking. I like that she's trying to make this really just wholesome. It's a wholesome book. So let's look at some of the actual recipes in here. Like I said, it feels... It feels a little all over the place, but it's not. Also, I was very surprised at, so here's a photo, big photo. This is her sesame rice bowls with tofu, quickies, and or quickles, and uh, peanut sauce. I like she calls them quickles, that's really cute. Um, but I like, I was surprised that I was really looking forward to cooking her recipes even though there's not a huge emphasis on photography. So she talks, she has like Doug's Tex-Mex turkey meatballs, but she features, you know, her dad and her. That's you know, part of her recipe. So, but they seem, the recipes are kind of drawing me in because they're easy. 
the instructions are really straightforward. This is actually kind of a lengthier recipe, and it's really not that, it's not that much. The instructions are very, yeah, there's not a whole lot going on here, but, you know, it just kind of draws me in a little bit. We've got, let's see, different kinds of foods, like I said. So we have this pork tenderloin piccata, I think that's how you say it, and then we've got a kimchi jjigae, and this is one of my, I love this, and as fall and winter start approaching, I will have Korean soup all the time, and I'm really looking forward to this. Plus, again, this is, this is it, this is all it takes. I was like, that's really not that much. So we have a fancy weeknight salmon salad. This looks fantastic, very tasty. Let's go into some other things that aren't fish. We've got 11 make-ahead mains in here. Kale and mushroom pot pie. This looks beautiful. And I like that you can kind of take this to go. It could actually, yeah, you can actually have this for lunch. When I was working uh, in the trades, it was really hard to find lunch options to take with me. A lot of the time we'd go out. So I like these ideas. Uh, vegetarian muffalettas with pi pickled iceberg. We have turkey shepherd's pie. That looks super tasty. And these are not things I'd ordinarily make. I usually love things like this. More vegetable than rice fried rice. That looks so good. And I've been trying to increase my vegetable intake and this is just a great way of doing it. And I get to enjoy the foods I already like, like fried rice, but make it just a hair healthier. Carrot and chickpea korma. These are just really amazing recipes. I just, I can't stop falling in love with this cookbook and I can't wait to actually try one. This might be the one I try first because it looks very straightforward and easy. It's called Sticky Chicken and it's yeah, it's basically kind of an Asian fusion style chicken with a side of broccoli. It's just very simple. There's a Greek chicken and potato recipe. Just throw everything in the oven and call it a day. Very cool. So like I said, she likes to integrate her life into this cookbook as well. I'm trying to find an example of that. But because she brings so many recipes that are passed down through her family or that she's discovered through family, she it has integrated them into the cookbook and talks about them in a very, you know, wonderful way, and you kind of, I don't know, I start thinking about my family and the things that we cook and the things that I love and the memories associated with them. So I really, I really appreciate this cookbook. It's just really uh, beautiful. Here's a, here's a section she's got that's kind of a personal thing. She talks about on cooking and anxiety. She says, when I've been at my most anxious, I felt like life is one long grocery list that includes something I need that I can't find anywhere. I'm sure I can relate. Can you relate? Um, so anxiety is widespread and while it's comforting to know I'm not the only one who can feel its muscular pull, I wish it was something we could all be free from and yet. So then she keeps going on. And I like that we, she, she's, I just like learning about her, and I like that cooking has been a way for her to heal, to connect with family, to connect with others, to connect with herself, and I just think it's just a beautiful, beautiful cookbook. Let's see if I can find some healthier desserts that she's provided. I like her, she calls them card night ginger cookies. These are really cool. And then... One other recipe we have is this, actually it's two, a banana chocolate chip layer cake and carrot pineapple cake with maple cream cheese frosting. That looks amazing. So this is Simply Julia by Julia Tertian. I highly recommend it. It's really wholesome. It's a great cookbook. I like that there's no, it's not flashy. It's just, this is who she is. And she's done a, brilliant job providing all of these amazing recipes and her stories and making you want to learn how to cook and also like cooking things in a healthier way that are approachable and doesn't feel like dieting. I think that's super important. So 
definitely check out Julia Tertian's Simply Julia. Um, and let us know how you feel about this cookbook. I think I'm probably going to buy this, so I'm very excited. Thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. Make sure to subscribe and like on your way out. Also, leave a comment. I want to know how we're doing and what we could do better. If there's any cookbooks you guys want us to look through, let us know. We'd love to share. If you want more cookbook content, check out our Facebook page, Instagram, and Pinterest. We also have a Cookbook Divas podcast that we try to post every Friday. And it's usually brand new cookbooks coming out, so make sure to tune in. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening, and have a fantastic week.